And welcome back you to another week of study. Hope the week starting off blessed in Jesus Christ so far. Amen. We on study number 24. We winding down to the end of our book. Um, but we're still on unit four. And we're talking about the mercy of God in action. Okay. So um, we're on study number 24. Like I said, uh, we get to the end of our books. So um, I like this class that we're going to be talking about today because we're gonna, I just love when the people that's being rejected or being bullied or I don't know, receive help, you know, it's the compassion. I just love compassion. I mean, thank God for compassion and, and grace and mercy, that, you know, that, that comes out of love. So, and God is love. So if we have God, then we have all those attributes that God have. Okay. That's why he wants us to be conformed to the image of his dear son, Jesus Christ, because when we're in the image of God, then we're going to reflect Jesus and his love. Amen. So let's do the most important thing, and we're going to pray for the story of the lesson, so our time together will not be in vain. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this time, and we are set aside to partake of your word, and we can sit at your table, you being the head, God, feeding us spiritually, Lord God. God, I just thank you for the youth today, God, help them to see you, to see you who you are, help them to see themselves in you, God, who, who they are in you, help them with their identity, the owners come from you because you are our creator and you created them in your image, God, help them to see that, help them, God, to be stay focused on you and not on the things of this world, God, because this world will pass away and the things that are of but your word will stand and live forever. So God, help them to embrace your word, to love your word, God. And, and just thank you for your mercy, God, that you're going to show us through your study today. And we thank you with all these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you. We on study number 24. The title of the day is, I am willing, be cleansed. Okay? That's the response of Jesus talking to someone who was in desperate need. His response was, I am willing, be cleansed, okay? All right, so we're gonna read the story, reading it, um, the Gospel of Mark, then we're gonna go to Psalms, okay? Uh, Mark 1, starting at verse 40, and it reads, now a leper came to him, talking about Jesus, imploring him, saying, kneeling down to him, and saying to him, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken this, immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. Ah, amen. And he straightly warned him and sent him away at once. And he said to him, see that? You say nothing to anyone, but go your way, show yourselves to the priest, and offer for your cleansings those things that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Amen? However, he went out and began to proclaim it freely and spread the matter so that Jesus could no longer openly enter the city, but was outside in, de in deserted places and they came to him from every direction. Now we're going to Psalms 146, starting at verse 5. Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps truth forever, who execute justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He relieves the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked, he turns upside down. Oh, there's so much in this text. <laughs> Oh, we're going to be here for all day. And we kind of it's, it opened up everything what Jesus was saying and teaching in this text, okay? Not only from his perspective, but even the, the leopard that was that, that had leprosy. If you just see his point of view, you're going to be, oh my God, it, 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 we could be here all day. So but we're going to try to hit on the, 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 the most important things that God wants us to learn today, amen? Uh, our member verse is coming from Mark 1, 41. 
Then Jesus moved, moved, moved with compassion. He was filled with compassion. And he stretched out his hand and touched him. He touched leprosy. He touched it and said unto him, I am willing, be cleansed. Our main idea is the mercy of Jesus shows us his power to cleanse, to heal, to restore by a touch of his grace. Amen. There are three objectives that we're going to accomplish today is the first one to know that the best way to receive something from God is to seek his will in all things. And two, consider that God wants to help us reach our dreams and desires. And three, to surrender our purposes in the hands of God so that his perfect will be done. Amen. Leprosy was considered to be most of the revolting and terrible diseases of that time. Um, it was present in different forms, but the invariable trait of it was foul uncleanliness. The leper was an outcast. He has forced, he was forced to live far away from um, other where other live and 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 he had to and he had to cover his mouth and he had to go around and say unclean 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 what is who, who uh disgusting and shameful thing that you have to say not only do you have to bear that dirt in this and and that and, and the burden of that disease but also you you have to speak it loudly you have to confess it you have to confess that I'm dirty and unclean and it is so beautiful because i want to relate this part right here to the text of of, of the gospel why, why jesus died and why he was buried and why he resurrected okay all of this is because of salvation the, the whole plan of salvation is in the gospel okay so when we are born in sin and we got the burden of sin on us then we are obligated if we want to be to live with jesus forever to cry out and acknowledge that we are uh, we are unclean <laughs> we have to say it we have to confess that we have to confess what the leper had to confess okay so he had to acknowledge that he is a leper and that he is burdened by this disease called leprosy and the sinner is that we got to confess that we are a sinner okay and, and that we get in order to be cleansed from our sins, then we got to acknowledge that we are a sinner first. And then we got to take this to the same place where the, the leper took his leprosy to, 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 to Jesus Christ. This is big. This is, this is big because oh, I want us to be careful because a lot of times we ask God for something, but we ask him for many things um, that, 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 benefits us in the right now just right right now in this moment i don't feel good i'm gonna run to jesus jesus healed me and that's good I'm not saying no, don't do that that's why jesus won we already read um last week about how he uh, healed jerry's daughter and raised her from the dead and how he healed the woman that had the issue of blood 12 years so this is what jesus does okay and, and, and but we, we can't use him like a magic wand whenever we want as you, as you notice is all the objectives is talking about seek his will his purpose his desires his perfect will all these things is is, is is got to be god's will it's got to be his way okay and so that's why we got to be careful that we can't ask god what we need in the moment always we got to be careful that we got to start asking him for the most important thing what is that that's salvation is is it's it, it, salvation god I, I i want you to heal me when i'm sick okay i want you to provide for me when, when i don't have when i'm in need I, I need these things uh when i need uh, a job i need you to give me favor with the boss you need to give me favor with this and favor with that when i'm trying to buy a house um, give me favor with the bank or give me favor with this and this and but all these things are momentary things but we never ask god for salvation god changed my life change make me a new creature give me a new heart like david asked 
create a new heart in me. I, I, I want to change my desires. I want to change the way how I see you. I want to change my way how I see myself, okay? I want everything to be done now that flows through me is through your eyes, it's through your word, it's through your desires, it's through your will. So yes, Jesus is compassionate. Yes, that's why we're still here today. He, 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 he's compassionate too. He got a soft spot for the widows and the, you know, the fatherless, the, the homeless people. He, he, he got a soft spot for them, but you got to want to be saved. You got to want to be healed. You got to want to be delivered. You got to want this. You got to desire these things. Jesus is not going to force himself. See, that's why I would say miracles is a beautiful thing that God uses and he gets our attention with them. But miracles don't save us. There are a lot of testimonies in the Bible where God performed miracles, but they never followed his commandments. They, they, they got the blessing, but they didn't receive the blesser who blessed them. And, and so they're walking away with the blessing, which is a temporary blessing, but they don't have the permanent blessing, which is salvation and being with Jesus Christ forever and ever. That's a big difference, you, okay? So look, if you don't, don't even put in your mind to try to use God only for monetary things that, uh, or momentary things or, or things that are going to pass away. It's only temporal things, okay? And those things are good when we in need to pray to God. Yes, I pray to God to open doors for me and close doors that he don't want me to go through. I, I pray God that he continue to be my provider um, because he is. He is the source of my life. I mean, everything I have is because of him. But that's not my main concern. All of these things flow out of my salvation of the relationship that I have with Christ. All of these come from that. It's like a tree. A tree is the trunk, but it got branches. It branches out. So if you root it in Christ, and then the branches is going to have the virtues that, that Christ has, okay? So, yeah, so salvation is the branch. It, it's the root, okay? And out of that, branches everything. So it, it, it comes... I always tell my daughter, I say, if you find, whenever you get um, big enough and you desire to marry, I said, don't, don't seek a, a spouse um, from, from, from the outside appearance. I don't know. I said, because if it, I said, seek him for do he love God? That's, that's the test. I said, why? Because if you, if you love God, if you love the root, if you love the trunk, then Everything else is going to branch from that. I said, because if you love God, he's going to love you. He's not going to beat you. He's not going to abuse you. He's going to, because he can't. Why? Because he loves God. He's in God's word. So he's being directed and governed by God. So that's the whole thing. So everything comes from our salvation, you. Everything. So it was 10 lepers and, and Jesus healed all 10, but only one came back and gave him thanks. And that's, and that's big, okay? But, but I, I want to embark really on, on, on this, uh, this compassion and, and this cleansing power that Jesus has, okay? For this text, uh, Jesus touched something that, that the doctor couldn't touch, <laughs> And the doctors are great, don't get me wrong, but they are only resources that God uses. Some things, resources, you, you run out of resources, but you will never run out of the source, okay, that give the resources. Christ is the source, okay? He, he, Jesus, when every time he had to get alone and he needed to be strengthened, he didn't run to other people. He, never, he ran to his father. He, he isolated himself from his disciples and he was alone to pray. Who, who, who was he praying to? The source. He, he, he needed to be strengthened. He, he needed to, to, to with direction. He needed that, that to, to, he knew the burden that he has to carry and the cross is not easy. Yeah, miracles are easy, but ministry costs you everything. Believe me, it's easy to receive a miracle, but it's hard. It's hard. You got to be rooted and grounded to be a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Believe me, those things are going to come against you. You're just going to have to be battled. You have to, that's why you're going to say Jesus is our anchor. Why, why would you need an anchor? You need an anchor so when the storm comes, um, you, you won't be tossed to and fro by the waves and the winds and different doctrines and all this crazy stuff that's going on in the world today that you will be anchored in what? In the truth of the Jesus Christ. You be you have an anchor. You'll be firm. Your, your, your feet will be on solid ground. You will be dug deep and you, you'll build your house 
on the rock, on the foundation. And so when the, so when everything comes at you, you, you can stand there uh, <laughs> on a firm foundation, which is the rock of Jesus Christ. So we got to be careful, youth. But we got to talk about compassion and all of this because it, it, can, it can carry on to something that you don't want to go to. You can say, oh, I can do what I want to do. Jesus is compassionate. Oh, I, I, I can serve God later. Uh, he's compassionate. He'll look over. No, God is a righteous, righteous. He's righteous. He, he, he's righteous. He, he wants the best for us and he know how to get us that. You know what? He, he want to put everything in us. He, he put the talents and the gifts in us so he know how to draw them out of us, okay? For what? To use for his purpose and for his glory. And what a beautiful thing when you're using something that God has given you for something that is not going to work. I'm believing it, 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 it's not going to fulfill because it wasn't made for that purpose, okay? Yeah, it might for a little while, temporary, but it's not going to give you that, that, that living water. It's not going to give you, it's like when you're really thirsty and thirsty and thirsty and you drink some sweet tea or a drink or a soda. Yes, it's going to feel good temporary going down, but a few minutes later, you're going to be thirsty again. It, why? It didn't satisfy. Matter of fact, it made you more thirsty. It didn't quench that 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 desire. It didn't quench that thirst. So you got to drink water. The water will quench it. And once you drink the water, it might not have the taste. But guess what? It has the satisfaction. So that's why Jesus does. Okay, He know how to pull out of us um, what what we need. Why? Because He put it in us. And this leprosy guy, this it, it, he he. He was in a desperate situation. So what did he do? He did. He, matter of fact, he didn't supposed to be close to people. He's supposed to be crying out, unclean, unclean, isolated. But when he heard, the Bible said he 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 had to hear it because hearing faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And the Bible said, how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach if he hasn't been sent? So the word came somewhere around and that and he heard the, the, the testimony of the power of this man called Jesus, the son of the living God. And he didn't even ask him, can you do this? He didn't ask him, were you able to do this? Can you show me to a person that can? No, no, no. He came and he was already had his mind made, made up. He was steadfast on the power of Jesus Christ. He said, if you are willing, you can cleanse me. <laughs> he said, if you are willing. He didn't say, do you have the power to do it? Or do I got a special medicine I got to take? He said, no, no, no. I already did my research. I already heard about you. I already heard about the thing that you've been doing in the town and outside the town. How you raising the dead and open up the blind eyes. How you made the lame man to walk. He said, I, I, I know about all these things. The man that had a withered hand. And how you stretched it out. And and, 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 and now he got function of both of his, his hands. He said, I, I heard about these things, God. I, 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 and so now... I'm convinced that I don't have to ask you, are, are you able to do it? I want to know if you are willing. <laughs> and he said, I am. Be cleansed. And, and Jesus got it's something about his will. The Bible says in Peter that it's not God's will that any man should perish. Not, 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 not one. Not one. That all should come to repentance. And there's some. He says, I want all of my creation to be my children. I want all of my creation to be mine. Why? For I am, there you may be also. That's why he said in John, that I go and prepare a place for you, that where I am, you may be there also. I will never run out of no room. Why? Because in my father's house are many mansions. And Jesus touched, see, he touched, he, 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 he touched this, this disease, and the disease was not strong enough to penetrate the atonement blood it is it, Jesus. It, it, the, the atonement blood, all the sin in the world, okay, does not contain substance to contaminate Jesus. It, it, so that's why he couldn't have an earthly father. He had to have a spiritual father. That's why when Mary, he had, she had to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, because he couldn't have a natural man because a natural man can't carry the weight of sin, okay? Because the contamination is in sin. 
And so by them seeing touches, it contaminates. So that's why Jesus had to come through the Holy Spirit. Oh, oh. And, and, and I'm trying not to get excited because I'm not preaching. I want to teach. But the blood of atonement, it, 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 that's why Jesus it, it can carry all the sins of the world, not only us in previous times, generations before us, gener a hundred generations back, it, it, the blood is still can cleanse, it's still cleansing because it can't be contaminated. Why? Because it's atoned. It, 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 it's atoned. It, 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 it came from the Father, the Holy One. That's why Jesus can touch the leprosy and, and, and he would not be contaminated. It, oh, this is so beautiful. And if we really knew you, if we really, really get it, if we really knew, God, how Jesus is making himself available to, to you, to me, right now and today, and saying, I don't want you in this condition. I want you to go follow. Even if you're following Christ and doing his will, he's still speaking to us that we can do better. We can go follow. Are you really living the life in Christ? Or are we still hindered by a disease? Or are we still hindered by a plague? And is it called sin? That's causing us, but we should be crying out like the leprous man said, Oh, if you are willing, I know you are able. I don't heard about your power. I, I know you are able. I mean, I I, I, I know that. That, that there's no doubt about you know your your, your power. There's no question about uh, your authority in heaven. That there's no question about these things. But the only thing I want to know from a broken guy like me, from 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 somebody who did so many bad things for, 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 uh, yes, Jesus, I, I, I aborted my baby, and, and I, yes, for you too, Jesus, I got compassion for you too, Jesus, you really don't know what I did um, years ago, he said, yes, I do, <laughs> but I'm still here willing today, I, I, I'm willing, why, because it's not in my will that anyone should perish, that all should come and repent, Jesus is crying out right now in the day, you, he's saying, I'm willing, whatever you need him to be in your life, He's saying, I am willing. So if you're being plagued by sin and you want to be set free, then Jesus is saying, I am willing. Be cleansed. All right, you. God bless you. So that's my, my whole take on this lesson. Jesus is willing. Be cleansed. Man, let's run to the fountain of water. We'll run to the water of life, the fountain of life. Man, because he's there willing and, 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 and waiting, available. Man, his mercy is available right now. Saying, I will, I am willing. I am willing, I am willing. Be cleansed, youth. Amen. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. See you next week.